Good afternoon. I'm Mabel Jong, and you're watching continuing coverage of the World Health Care Congress here in Washington, D.C. I'm so pleased to have in the studio right now Gary Loveman, who is president and CEO at Caesars. How are you, Gary? Well, Mabel. Well, thanks for dropping by. My pleasure. What's the message that you want to leave attendees at this conference? You'll be talking a lot about employer-driven health care. What's your take on that? Well, large employers have been very active in what we call wellness programs, which are programs intended to put more decision-making authority with incentives and information in the hands of our employees and encourage them to be partners with us in improving their health care and controlling cost. And the good news is this is working really, really well. And what we'd like to do is encourage our friends of the administration to be supportive of the furtherance of these programs. And how do you see them being more supportive? What do you want to see? Well, there are two things we'd like to see. First, we'd like I think the administration to recognize that these are well-intentioned efforts on the part of employers to help their employees get healthier and not to feel like this is an effort on our part to do something nefarious, which is an mm -hmm. issue that I think the administration has some concerns on. And second, these programs will continue to use financial incentives to encourage healthy behavior, and we need both regulatory and legislative access to be able to continue to do that. Okay. You recently testified uh, on behalf of the Business Roundtable um, that there needed to be more wellness programs available mm -hmm. um, more readily. What do you, what does your ideal scenario look like? Um, do you want more government uh, intervention in no, making it, these mandatory? Or? No, no, we don't want to make them mandatory. We want to be able to evolve them. So in the earliest stages, we said to you, hey, Mabel, get diagnostics for a woman of your age. And if you do, there'll be incentives to your benefit. And you went off and did it, just like virtually everyone else. Then we said, based on those diagnostics, the second step is to take whatever action those diagnostics indicate, medicine, exercise, surgery, whatever it may be. The third step then is to say, we'd like to encourage you to improve on the measures that those diagnostics indicated you might improve on, like your hypertension or your blood sugar or something of that sort. Mm -hmm. Government gets increasingly uncomfortable as those incentives move to from diagnostics to behavior. Mm -hmm. And it's essential that these incentives, in fact, move in that direction. Okay. What in particular are you doing at Caesars that might be used as a great standard for other companies to look at and say, I'd like to do that too? Well, the first step is to make this a partnership. So rather than saying, here's our insurance program, hey, maybe we'll go knock yourself out. Now we're saying we're going to work with you together on this. We're going to put in place a series of incentives and information and resources and together the folks who live in your area are going to need to make better choices and take better care of themselves. So this includes things like access to second opinions for elective procedures, access to information about cost and quality. If you're going to go have an MRI and you live in Lake Tahoe, Nevada, mm -hmm. what's the best place to go that provides the best quality MRI at the best cost? Uh, access to a well nurse or a physician in off hours so you don't take your new baby to the emergency room when she has an earache if you don't need to, but rather you call and find out that maybe you can wait until tomorrow and take them to your pediatrician at less cost. So it's a whole menu of these kinds of services that allow people to make better and more efficient decisions. Mm -hmm. Are your employees, do you believe, taking a more active role in being consumers of of healthcare. I mean, we, the past five years we've seen people take a more active role in becoming educated in this area. Are you seeing that firsthand on the ground? Yeah. Well, you definitely are. I mean, people have to be because the financial consequences of making bad decisions are relatively high. So people are much more invested in making sure that they make a deliberate and informed choice. And they're finding that it really works well for them. Their families are healthier. We're seeing the number of people who have biometric indicators that are out of line drop very substantially. Uh, in many cases, all of them are being eliminated through better care. In other cases, some portion of them are being eliminated. The number of days in hospitals are going down. The number of ER visits are going down as people are making better decisions and getting healthier. A few of the health plan representatives here today did cite some statistics that seemed impressive that the cost of health care was dropping. Are you seeing that on the employer side? We have. Our, our cost at Caesars was down double digits this year over last, in largely because what I indicate, people are taking better care of chronic conditions, they're following their medical regimes better, they're taking their medicines as prescribed, and they're making healthier decisions. Okay, what's the next stage, do you believe? Well, I think the next stage is, is really giving incentives toward doing better at managing your health. So that is getting your hypertension down, making sure that your, your BMI is better, these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. and, and then being in more active process of managing this with the new technologies that are available to help us all to mm -hmm. do better at monitoring our own services. And what's your, um, your, your takeaway from, for attendees for the conference? What do you really want to leave people with? I'd like people to be confident that this combination of information, choice, 
incentives and convenience. These are things we think of in consumer activity broadly, applies very powerfully to healthcare, and those that are applying it are seeing great results. All right, Gary Loveman, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Abel. my pleasure. And I'm Mabel Jong, thanks for watching.